probably noticed I am a female comedian, which means I get trolled a lot online, I get trolled on my stand-up clips, probably like this one. And uh, if, if you're not familiar, a troll is a man who is rejected by one woman, and <laughs> now all women must pay. And it's always like a real lame comment. It's always like, get back in the kitchen. I'm like, yeah, my pleasure. That's where the food is. And it's like, oh, you're ugly. I'm like, your profile picture is Detective Pikachu. And I doubt you're as hot as Detective Pikachu. Rose. Trolls hate when female comedians talk about sex, when they talk about lesbian stuff, periods, and feminism. So that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> and that's it. Yes. Uh, I'm a feminist, I'm free bleeding right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm wearing a dark pant. <laughs> These were white at noon. Next, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to transition. Um, I, uh, I was pretty late to the orgasm game, like into my 20s, like real, real late. Like, cause I didn't know how all this worked. Cause I grew up in the 90s and in the 90s, like no one told you anything and you, you didn't have Google. So you just had to believe people. <laughs> which is a weird concept. And this guy, this guy in fifth grade, he told me that my clitoris was located in my butthole. <laughs> and I believed him for a very long time. And you might ask yourself, well, didn't you have health class? Didn't you learn about that in health class? I'm like, yeah, I had health class, but I don't know if you were like this. I was that kid in class that was just asleep all throughout class because I was up late at night just digging through my asshole looking for my clit. <laughs> this is a relatable joke. <laughs> the first orgasm I ever had, it was given to me by a traveling clown. <laughs> I wouldn't make that up. But that's why when kids are like, I'm afraid of clowns. I'm like, no. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, honk, honk, etc. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> I feel bad. Uh, I feel bad for people who don't think women are funny because I just assume they don't have moms. <laughs> Why are you sad for them? <laughs> Moms are hilarious. Moms are so funny. Dads aren't funny. Dads are hack. <laughs> dad jokes aren't funny. Like every time I hear a dad tell a dad joke, I'm so happy that mine abandoned my whole family. <laughs> there are perks. The funniest thing my mom ever did uh, was when uh, I came out of the closet. I'm gay, by the way. Uh, so if you don't laugh at my jokes, it is a hate crime. <laughs> Just be aware. But my mom, she's an electrician in Chicago. She's one of the only females in her union. She works really late. And I was like, I'm just gonna get her while she's tired. <laughs> and so she comes home from work and I'm like, mom, I'm a lesbian. And she just started yelling. She's like, you are not a lesbian. You are not, a, you dated Jack in high school. You are not a lesbian. But she had just come home from work. So she was wearing a hard hat. <laughs> and Carhartt overalls and a fully equipped tool belt. Just yelling, you are not a lesbian. It's like, can we finish this conversation after your audition for the all-female village people? If you've never been yelled at by a woman in her mid-50s wearing men's clothes, then you've never been to the Midwest. That's what they do. Next. <laughs> I think the only way we're gonna make uh, the world a better place is if more gay people have babies. 
It's just true. Like, what if Trump were raised by two loving mothers? You know? Yeah. Melania would be free. You know? <laughs> Jill Stein would be president. Trump would be like an ER nurse in Cleveland. And he'd be hot. <laughs> he'd be sexy, just like Pikachu. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna have a baby because I wanna make the, the world a better place. But I didn't realize how hard it is as a lesbian. Like, no one tells us either like how hard it is to have a baby. But it's really difficult. Like, you have to find a donor, you have to get lawyers, psychiatrists, and then you have to get poked and prodded a bunch of times. You have to get your blood drawn. And then each try costs thousands and thousands of dollars. And then, when it happens, when you get pregnant, then you have to ask yourself the most important question of all. Do I keep it? <laughs> Sorry, that joke is so good it deserves a standing ovulation and I won't. <laughs> <laughs>